Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the bus. Um, we're lucky enough to have friends who are joining us every single day. And today we have Roman O. A. Roman A. Raymond, yes. Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, there's a special... That was very, very close. <laughs> very close. <laughs> you were on the bus with us before. Yes. You yes. sang on the bus beautifully. Yes, I did. Thank you. Yes, it was a Christmas time, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, things change now. I'm a mom now. Well, congratulations. There's, thank you. There's a lot of things changed, and I feel like I really settled in Mullingar. Yeah. How many years are you in Mullingar? Uh, three and a half years, but I don't count the two because. The two were COVID, exactly, yeah. yeah. They were yeah. they were definitely hard years on yeah. everyone. But uh, you're settled in now. You have an event on. It's called the Baltic Day Festival yes. on the twenty fifth of August, which is next Sunday, yeah. and it's in the band hall Zone A, and that's Mullingar Business Park, and it's on from twelve till six. Yes. Now tell us, this event is close to your heart. Where in the Baltics are you from? I'm Lithuanian originally. How many uh, states are in the Baltics? Uh, so we have three states. There's three Baltic sisters, as we say. Okay. Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. Okay. And we all share similar, very, shim very similar uh, cultures. So it's Balts, uh, which comes uh, from from so many years. Like it's very similar to celtic lifestyle to be honest okay we have a lot of you know uh crafts and arts similar to ireland so i found that very interesting i thought it would be interesting to put it together and create a festival that showcases our culture to to Mullingar and to ireland and 35 years ago we had this wonderful wonderful event in baltic states right. which is called baltic way Ah, so this is a celebration as well yes. as the 35 years. Yes, so. we are wishing, yeah, we are wishing everyone uh, to just remember this and, and, and remember how far we've come as countries and being in European Union and being able to travel, even settle in, in various places in the world, you mm. know. So I think it's just fantastic. I just wanted to show Irish what it is. Uh, you know, to be... How did you countries. manage to get to Ireland? Were you in other countries before that or how did actually, Ireland yes. come up? I actually have been to Stockholm for quite a while. I was studying there, I was studying music there and after a short course I decided I'll come visit my sister here because ah. back in Lithuania, I, <laughs> this is a very long story though, but I did a bit of a TV uh, show um, well, kind of became a, like a little celebrity Correct. at that time. Yeah, I remember you saying this, yeah. But it was a very long time ago. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, it's a bit too much for me now. I was in my 20s. I was very young. Yeah. I couldn't manage with all of that sudden fame, you know. And okay. it's a small country. Yeah. And so I said, I'm going to come and visit my sister. My sister, by the way, was in Roscommon working on her work experience. And she said, I'm leaving to London. If you want, you can stay in Ireland in my apartment. Right. I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay. And then I found a course, international business course. I thought, I'm going to better my English and I'll go back to Lithuania and I'll be just wonderful. Ready to so, rock. Yes. <laughs> and then I met somebody special at that time and okay. I decided to stay in Ireland. Uh, the end. <laughs> the end of the beginning. And then, yeah, and then I started all from zero. So it was just... Um, you, know, uh, you have a baby boy or girl? A baby girl, Fiona. Fiona. Yes. Very Baltic name. <laughs> It's a very, you know, very special thing for her, I think, to be born in here yeah. and have Lithuanian roots as well. So, yeah. So, how old? 14 months. 14 months. She's sleeping right Ooh. now. <laughs> well, we're very lucky to yes. uh, have you with us. And uh, thank you for taking time away from your baby because your baby is extremely important now. I mean, yes. this is a whole new world. And She's going to be there at the festival as well. And we're wearing a little Lithuanian, you know. Things so there's gonna be a lot of Irish uh, music as well and okay. crafts and wood turner and uh, cheesemongers and uh, there's it's just gonna be fantastic you know a little craft fair okay. and music and dancing. Now this is all in where the town band rehearsed. That's yes. the uh, room and uh, and they have sort of given you the room and given you the and opportunity the to use space it. the outdoor space as well. Oh, yes, wow. yes. And it starts at 12 o'clock and runs at 6 o'clock. Yes, yes. Will there be food? Oh, there will be loads of food. There will be food. There will be food, uh, burgers. There will be vegan curries. There will be crepes. There will be coffee. There will be loads of choices. And indoors, there will be some bakery stuffs, jams. Uh, Morza's Farm is coming with local produce. Oh, right. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, yes. Now, another thing, am I, am I right in saying, is you're part of Mullingar Motorsport? Yes, 
I'm an admin, yes. Together with what, Keith, yes. What a job you're doing. And no, the no, feedback. Keith's helping me a lot. <laughs> well, pretty, you know, I mean, that's, both are doing it that's together. super. Yeah, I, I'm trying to integrate well, you know, I want to do things for the community that was so kind to me. Mm. When I moved here, it was just really difficult. And the support that I received, I sometimes sit and think it's, it's just, you know, it must be something to do that town is a bit smaller and people really know each other mm. and uh, it's just it's just fantastic so i felt you know what we all have a role in society if i am able to go and create something beautiful like this or or put up a festival together why not to do it you know so, exactly oh yeah this, and is, a little, uh, this is the poster this is and what poster. we'll do is we'll change around our pole we have set it here on our upside down camera and yes. it should be like that that is the information <laughs> give it good and close so <laughs> yeah uh there it is and uh, yeah, left is right and right is left. Yeah. So that is all the information on it, folks. And uh, if you go, have you a page for this as well? Yes, it is Baltic Day Festival or Baltic Roots Events. Baltic Roots Events. So Baltic um, Day I, Festival I, I think you've covered it. Oh, okay, you're on Facebook and it's Baltic Roots Events. So oh. we'll just get that one in there. And we go that way, that way, that way, that way. And that is all the information on it. Phone numbers as well if you want to get involved. And it's going to be an absolute super day starting next Sunday. Yes. And I believe the weather next Sunday is going to be actually as good as the weather it is today. I'm really hoping for that because there's going to be vendors outdoors yeah. for people to come and buy stuff All and try it. foods. There will be also face painting for children and hair braiding and, you know, just to see something new and spend a day, you know, on your own with the family. Will you sing an old tune? I will. <laughs> You're very welcome as well, but I don't think you'll be here. Uh, I'll just have a look and see if we can get down. Um, but if well, we're around, we'll call in definitely. Yeah. And your business course, then you continued with your business course. Is that completed now? Yeah. Yes, but now I'm doing something else. I'm studying part time in Griffith College. I'm doing digital marketing, which is very foreign to me. Digital. <laughs> um, believe it or not, after Fiona was born, within yeah. three months. I was given a chance to take up this course and I thought, okay, now or never, you know. And was, so everybody was like, you're crazy. You have a baby. You're doing something else as well as studying, but yeah. it's working well. And are you traveling up to Dri Griffiths College or are you doing um, it online? I'm doing it online, but I have to travel a few times a month to just, you know, do a few things. And it's better that way, to be honest, because I can talk to my tutors and ask them if something is not clear, which there's a lot. <laughs> So how did you apply for that course then? So I went through spring uh, springboard courses and I was given a, an opportunity to do that mm. uh, given the previ previous learning experience and degrees that I have. And it's really something that, you know, even helping me with the, with the festival and the idea of creating events in the mm. future is one of the things that's, that's definitely going to gonna be useful, you know. So how are you going to use this digital marketing then to your... I'll just market the heck of it you know <laughs> <laughs> right folks the fence is on she's going to market the heck of it yeah. it's on uh, if you want to look on your uh, map go to n91 yy96 and that to bring you to um the baltic day festival the 25th next week it's in the band room studio zone a mullingar business park from 12 to 6 and if you see this in town give it a good read and uh and if you see our good friend here, Ramanda. <laughs> Ramanda. Yes. Ramanda. Yes. Just Ramanda. Yes. It's my name. Ramondo. <laughs> yes, Ramanda. exactly. Yes. Was at home? I was rehearsing it. Ramanda. <laughs> Ramanda. Her name is Ramanda. Yes, that's exactly the same. Just so for myself and Ramanda and myself, Ramondo, yes. good evening or good afternoon to you folks. And uh, put this in your diary for next week. Bye for now. Thank you.